Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware and Hot Tech here at Intel Vision 2024 with my friend David from Intel. Gotta love that first name, by the way, Dave. Oh, That's nice. an original. And uh, Dave's gonna show us a stable diffusion demo that is uh, running both locally and a Gaudi 2 instance in the cloud. Dave, why don't you show us what you got? Sure, I mean, it really is about a start of AI everywhere. And you know, when we do these type of things, it could be on-prem or out in the cloud using enterprise AI. Here we're actually gonna take my image and take uh, three images here. First, it's, you know, I'm gonna do a right center. All right, so you're getting a straight on shot and then a, a side shot. Mm -hmm. Your profile. Yeah. And so what this is doing is going to take take my images and basically, in a, you know, <coughs> stitch it together, fine tune the model and model so it understands what I look like and what I can, <coughs> you know, be posed within the pictures. Gotcha. Okay. So while we're waiting for David's image to render in the AI in the cloud for the AI to train on his image, we've got another demo here. Uh, with uh, Stable Diffusion and a very popular image editing software called GIMP. Go ahead, Dave. Yeah, with the GIMP, the image editing software, we're actually using um, the plugin here. And what it's doing is, what we like to show is that it's doing the Stable Diffusion, but as part of that, the process, the performance is showing that we're using it, the NPU process. So it's fully using the system's um, neural processing unit in order to do that stable diffusion. Okay. So really the message is that you you can do any model where it's stable diffusion, LLMs, racks, you can bring it locally to your system so you have full control of your data. Got it. So it looks like an image just popped in behind there. Yeah. Looks like it rendered. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So it's nice. It's a 512 by 512 image. Nice. And, you know, you know, that we created this with stable diffusion. In a matter of a few seconds. A few okay. Seconds. Cool. But when you want to scale this out to something, you know, that you want to, you know, support thousands of customers or, you know, you know build, in building your AI model that will turn your company to a million dollar company, you're going to need enterprise AI. Right. Right. And what we're talking about here in this, um, in this booth is about the Intel Tiber services that we just announced. It's a suite of software as a service so that, you know, we can um, have a service there that can support whatever it needs for it to build your enterprise AI solutions. Okay, so is Tiber a development platform or is it a software as a service platform and, and users can use your infrastructure? Are you standing up infrastructure for it or? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's basically it's a software as a service. So yeah. It's a suite of services that we, we sell to customers so they can do development, they can manage those AI solutions, they can deploy it, they can secure it, they can optimize it. It's just uh, anything you can ask for. You know, talk to the Intel Tiber team to find out more. Got it. Okay. So let's see if we can go back to that stable diffusion running on Gaudi 2. Yeah. All right. So let's come back now. So we're going to move it to an enterprise AI solution. So a uh, portrait uh, of David. Just something simple. So um, it'll figure out what the best look is for that. Yeah, high detail and um, a dramatic. Kind of. So render you in high detail, dramatic, 4K. That's You're gonna look like a rock star, probably. Hopefully, this is gonna be a snowy rock star, very cold <laughs> one, indeed, as it goes through. All right, so Gaudi 2 is done doing its magic. And uh, David has been uh, rendered in a snowy, dramatic situation. I'm going to say it's kind of like, um, well, this one's pretty good for sure to start, right? And uh, that's, that's one of its first attempts. It looks like he's cold, but uh, pensive. I don't know. He's, well, the one behind is probably a little bit better. Yeah, the one, the one behind me, I think, I like is pretty darn perfect. There you go. You look, you look like a, um, uh, a, a like a, a frontiersman. Like you're, you're out there in the wilderness. So maybe a ranger, Ranger Dave in the Grizzly, wintertime. Kind of ranger out there. Grizzly, yeah. Yeah, it's the kind of the look. And the, the, the I was gonna, in my beard. I was gonna say, Dave. You know, you should, you should carry that one around, and the ladies will really uh, pick up on that one. I like that. Especially in the snowy areas up here. <laughs> Good stuff. Well, well, David, David, uh, thanks so much from Intel here, showing end-to-end. -end Solutions from client to the data center with uh, 
Meteor Lake in the laptop and uh, Gaudi 2 in the cloud. Thanks so much. Thank you. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware and Hot Tech here at Vision 2024 with my friend Bob from Intel who has a rather interesting AI enhanced CAD realism demo uh, he's going to show us on uh, Arc GPU no less. Bob, yeah, what do you got? Yeah, we're going to demonstrate Intel Arc GPU. As people know, that's typically a gaming GPU, consumer grade, discrete GPU. We're showing it in a commercial uh, environment. So we've got a Dell XPS here, and we are doing AI workloads off of that consumer grade hardware. So we're demonstrating it using a commercial type of environment. So I've got uh, Revit from Autodesk here. So this is uh, an architectural CAD environment. And we're going to use this to essentially drive stable diffusion to generate photorealistic images uh, in just a second. So let, let me go ahead and first let's change this scene so you know you know this isn't pre-baked. We're going to go ahead and move this around. I'll just move this scene a little bit here. I don't have the best Revit skills, but let's just go with that. Um, up here is Comfy UI for stable diffusion, and I'm going to go ahead and kick this off, and it's going to start generating uh, images up here. So we can see this is essentially driving that. Essentially, imagine that this is like a coloring book, and we're telling stable diffusion, fill it in with information based upon this prompt here. And what we can do is run a number of these, and I can change this from, what does it say? I think it says rainy day. Let's change change that to, how about sunset view instead? And, oh, oh, let me go ahead and cue that, and we'll get it going. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the extra so we can just keep this running. Yeah, so now we have a, uh, more of a sunset view here. And again, I can change it back to rainy, and then the streets will turn wet in just a moment. There we go. Nice. That is. And this is all running on Intel Arc A770 discrete GPU. Excellent. And we, and we can see it going there on the GPU. So the GPU is going in. Okay, so it's an A770 with 16 gigs of RAM, or uh, uh, GDR6, right? Yeah. And uh, great, good stuff. And it is, it is pegging that GPU, 98, 64%. Yeah, and, and let me show you this as well. So now we have this on uh, meter leg with built-in Intel Arc GPU. So this is essentially what we're calling an AI PC. So we are generating the same type of experience. Obviously, this is scaled down. Uh, Pat demonstrated this in, in his keynote. So again, um, I'll go ahead and change this word to, uh, how about sunny? And we'll see after this last generation, and we'll go ahead and update. And we'll see that we're running AI on this laptop here, sunny day. There it is. Nice. Now, what are these tools again that you're using? Oh yeah, so we're using freely available tools. So this is the Comfy UI interface. So this is a community project available on GitHub. So freely available, accessible to anybody to use. We just cloned it. We added in Intel's libraries for PyTorch, which are our IPEX libraries, Intel extensions for PyTorch. Just a couple of uh, lines of code changed, and we essentially were able to get this working on an Intel Arc discrete GPU, either our discrete GPU or the built-in Intel Arc on Intel Core Ultra. Good stuff. Bob, thanks very much. Appreciate it. Hey, you're welcome.